good evening, good evening. I will talk loud because that's easy for me. Um, certainly, I want to first um, congratulate Congressman Davis on his reelection or um, reelection as Democratic nominee right now. Um, certainly, um, I tell you this evening, my heart is full. Yes. 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 My heart is full because I am so grateful. Yes. I want you all to know that when I look around this room, I am so grateful. Yes. I think about this campaign. This has been a long yes. journey. Yes. But it's been a journey worth taking. Yes. I want you all to know that for me, Yes. To be able to fight for working families yes. Yes. and raise issues yes. that have never been raised. Yes. Yes. My heart is full. I want you all to know that I am grateful for the support that we received. Yes. When I started this race, yes. I told you all. I'm a young lady born in Inglewood, raised on the west side by a single mother. But my seven-year-old daughter and I today yes. went and voted for me. Yes. I won this morning yes. when that seven-year-old black girl yes. Yes. saw a black woman yes. on the ballot for United States Congress. Yes. Yes. I won this morning. And so I want you all to know if you're wondering, because I know, I mean, the support has been overwhelming. Yes. If you're wondering how I'm feeling, Good. I tell you, <laughs> Sometimes my husband, he looks at me and he's wondering, when am I going to collapse? <laughs> because I smile. Yes. But I do that because I need you to understand that I know who it is I'm fighting for. Yes. Yes. So I'm clear on this. Throughout this journey, I talk a lot about my faith. And so I want you all to know that my faith doesn't waver. No. No. My faith doesn't waver. Yes. And I believe, I believe that God has really put me here for a time such as this. So I would tell you, do I understand the results? I don't. But I don't really lean into my own understanding. I've learned in this life to trust the process. I've learned in this life that there will be disappointments, yes. but trust the process. Yes. Now, I was born and raised in the 7th Congressional District. If I haven't gone nowhere up until this point, yes. don't worry, I'm still here. Yes. So I want you all to look at this as the beginning. Yes. This is the beginning of our journey together. Yes. We've gained a lot of friends. Yes, we We've gained a lot of friends. Yes. And I'm grateful for those friendships. I don't worry about naysayers. I don't worry about enemies. Because my late mother always taught me, Melissa, whatsoever things are good, think on those things. And so we think positive on tonight because people know now that Melissa Conyers Irvin is a fighter. Melissa Conyers Irvin don't give up. And so we are grateful. 
We're here. Yes. We'll be here. All right. The best is yet to come. And so we thank everyone and thank the voters that supported me and those that did not whom are just being introduced to me. There is much more great work to come. Because I will tell you, as the mother of a seven-year-old daughter, I was thinking as I was riding here this evening, my daughter couldn't even join us. See, the only time I get emotional is about her. My daughter couldn't even join us because over the past two weeks, on and off sick, I'm on the campaign trail. See, I know the struggles of a working mother. I know what it means to have to pick. What do I do? My daughter's sick, but I have to work. I have a meeting. I have to run for office. I know what it means, but I sacrificed because it's not about Melissa. It's about all of us. And I really don't want working families to struggle the way that they do. I don't. I believe we deserve better. And so I have to say specifically to my family, to our 28th Ward Democratic Organization, Alderman Telia Farrow, who is here on this evening, has been with me every step of the way. To my, to my team, my campaign team, whom has just been by my side no matter what. This has not been easy. I was telling my husband, I said, being a black woman running for office, wow. It's not easy because you're trying to raise money. You wish you had more resources. People in your community are supportive, but the truth of the matter is those that support you the most cannot afford to even donate to your campaign. These are the struggles we experience that I know firsthand. But it's okay because we're bringing awareness. To my mother-in-law in love, we always say that is here. You all tonight, I'm smiling thinking about my late mother. She would be so proud of her daughter today. She would be so proud. To my sister, all my cousins, all of my friends, everyone that is here, and I'll tell you, certainly, there's a young lady that's been with me. I'm about to cry again, Lily. Don't do it. <laughs> For the past year, we have sat in rooms where people have told us no. We have sat in rooms where people have told us yes and never fulfilled that promise. But we made it. And so I thank you, Lily, for being with me every step of the way. And Tom Bowen, I see, is walking around always bossing all of us. Um, has certainly been with me. I was going to have him on my left because there has been only two men throughout this campaign that could tell me what to do. And that was Tom Bowen and certainly my husband. And I tell you, I really have a heck of a husband. This guy, I said the other day, when he tell me I can do something, there's no stopping me. And he is so encouraging, and I appreciate that he's not intimidated by a strong woman. I appreciate how supportive he is of women. Not just me, so many women he support. And we say all the time, if we can work together, how better our community will be. And so I'm so grateful for his love, his support. And we were riding here and he said, babe, we got this. Because we're young. The future is ahead. This seven-year-old daughter keeps us young, I have to tell you. 
But it's a great future ahead. I thank you all again. The best is yet to come. All right, all right. We have done well. We hold our heads high. That's what, that's what my mother would say. Melissa, you always hold your head high. So you'll see me smiling from this moment on because that's what I do. Because I'm grateful. So thank you all. Yeah.